Hey everybody, I'm Steph, and today we're gonna look at <gasps> Uffy Stroden. It's in my top five. It's actually number four, I think, at the moment. It is uh, one of my absolute favoritest of all. Oh, hey, my phone is on sound. What's up with that? It's like ridiculous. <laughs> um, hope everyone's doing a fun time tonight on this Monday. <laughs> It's having a fun time. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. What do you want? I had to set up this huge game, but it's worth it because it's one of the best. Uh, Uwe Rosenberg is like my favorite. If you know me at all, he is my favorite. <laughs> I always want to play all of his games all the time. Unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of people who love Uwe Rosenberg games as much as I do. Uh, so, but... I'll play the solo game. It's really great, and uh, there's a lot of fun things happening. I have a lot of little promos that I'm going to be throwing in the mix, and I can show you what they do and all these cool things that you may or may not have heard of. Um, but now, my overhead <laughs> is jam-packed. You won't be able to see everything. My It's like this is a sprawling game, and uh, the overhead is not like... It can't capture it all. So you're just going to have to believe what I say it sometimes. <laughs> and trust me that I am not... Uh, that, uh, yeah. It's, it's Uva. Uva Rosenberg. <laughs> um, so, uh, like all my resources are back here. I have the forest out of shot. But you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to go in and explain the whole game because I assume most people have played it at this point and you'll catch on as I go. There's just a lot of rules. It would take a long time to explain the entire thing. So I'm basically going to explain some of the new stuff that I'm adding in and, uh, and then I'll go from there and I'll explain everything as I do it so you know what I'm doing. So let's take a look. Let's jump in, see what happens. Okay, so now... We have the board. <laughs> we have a special setup for, um, oh, a solo game. Uh, oh, my head is a little small. I don't know how I can fix that, but I'll, I'll put that up there. It's fine. You still, you can still see me. Um, so I'll be using essentially two colors. One, they're both my colors, but every other turn I'm going to be using a different color in order to activate spaces so if I go to one space in one round I won't be able to go there next round because I'll be using a different color and the meeples will stay on the board for an entire extra round so I'm basically locking myself out of actions it's fairly interesting um it, it's a cool like little dynamic um so I have these special tokens let's see if my overhead works oh hey there it is I got these little tokens. Okay, so they have like a front and a back. There's a, oh, can't, oh. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on, but that's my pig screen that's coming up. But these tokens have um, brown and yellow, meaning the harvest. I don't know what's going on there. And then I have these tokens, which will have, what is going on? What is going on? Okay, so then I have these little tokens that have the harvest symbols. So in a normal game, every other round you're going to have a harvest, and you start off with the harvest one. Now this will randomize the harvests uh, for the entire game. You, f you always start off the game with at least one harvest, and this time I'm starting off with a one to two. But... Um, So I don't know what's going to come up. I might have three no harvests in a row. They're random tokens, and I'll show you when I, whenever I reveal a new one uh, what the harvest will be. So I don't know what's going to happen. But in order to compensate for these harvests, we have these little tokens. So these are additional income that we get during the, uh, the oranges during the harvest, and the brown is a little bit better, and you get that during the non-harvest time. So we don't really know what's coming up, but... At least that's how I play. I think the actual rule is we do know what's going to be the next round, but um, I've never played that way. I like to be, uh, you know, I reveal it at the beginning of the round, um, and 
then we'll, we'll do that during the feast section down here. Uh, so these are these cool tokens. I'm going to take those away. See if it ruins it. No, okay, that's good. All right. So I, I already took my, my food, my one through three food, uh, I mean, sorry, one through two harvest uh, for the setup of the game. Oh, I'm also supposed to have one mead. That's just at the start of the game, though, so it's all good. It's all good. Um, there's like a billion actions to do. I have the expansion in play as well, so uh, I have the expansion boards and a lot of the the actions are a little bit different. Uh, I do think that it is it is a cool game where um, if I'm teaching this game that I can just throw in the expansion because you're not changing that much and uh, whatever is added is fairly easy to understand. Um, and so it basically adds this whole extra line of actions over here. But if you were to take one of these actions, you are then done for the round. So you wanna make sure you do it last. Um, and, uh, so at the top, it, uh, you can't really see it, but it says one worker, or if I have two workers, I get an extra, I can play a card down. So, um, it, one worker will do the action, but if you put two there, you get to also play a card. So that's pretty cool because we want to get cards in play to get cool bonuses and cool points and all these things. Uh, there are these trays. I have three of these huge trays full of resources and, and things that th th they come with the game. So, uh, it's a nice organizer for you because there's a lot of tokens. They're out of the shot, but if, if you've seen this game set up, you know that there's a lot going on. Um, right now I have six islands in play. You can only see these three, but I have some more down there and I have to um, do in maintenance when it comes to those uh, during the game and things will be flipped over, et cetera, et cetera. Um, do I have the right side of the board I don't know if I picked the right side I think I did A B C D let me just double check it should be seven rounds anyway A B C D one two three yep that's seven rounds I did it all right cool that's what I like to see so in my game I have this little token when it's a harvest I get a little blue it's a one by one blue, which is amazing. And on the back, when it's a non-harvest, I get a one by one red. So that will help me feed. Um, so since it is a harvest round, I do get that little one by one blue into my general supply. Really probably hard to see, but there they are. There it is. Yeah. I could place these things on my board out here. Um, I can't place the food items on my main board, but if I got a house or something later on, I could put food there. But I, I'm going to mostly need my food to feed these Vikings that are very hungry. Very, very hungry. Um, and so I'll be taking these actions out here. Uh, so where's my little marker? Let's see. Do I have it? I don't see it anywhere. There's supposed to be a little marker. Oh, it's probably... Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I do is take a guy. So I have six guys at the beginning of the game that I could work with. Um, if I go in this column, it costs one, two, three, four workers, or as I said, one or two workers to go in that column. So the whole column will take that many workers. Now I also have to plan and say, okay, uh, I don't necessarily need this action next round because I will be locking myself out of those opportunities. Um, okay, so we did that. I got my income or the harvest, I should say. If uh, these boards were to flip over, now would be the time. They don't. And I already drew my extra weapon. I start. You start with three of these cards here. You start with those three basic cards, um, these three. And uh, I drew that one uh, as a random card at the start of the game as a, and during my setup, which is good. I like swords. Swords help you... Um, you know, take islands or do raids, pillaging, stuff like that. So um, there's a lot of good things uh, that swords are useful for. Killing. Ha ha. <laughs> um, okay. And then we start doing actions. All right. Well, at the beginning of the game, I, I gave myself two of these cards and I kept one. I kept this one. So 
Is that the one I wanted to keep? Uh, yeah, I guess it was. Sure. So, um, this is a yellow card. Yellow means that if I play this card, it immediately triggers. So I'm looking to collect a whole bunch of different red items. And uh, then I can, when I play a card, I can uh, play this card and get $1 for each of the different red items that I have. It's fairly good. So I don't have it in play yet. I play that when I have the opportunity to play a card, which is uh, infrequent. Uh, you would have to do some special actions in order to do that. Um, also, if you choose, um, you get a cool, like, point tokens. I probably won't end up playing with that. I'll just play with the cards. But there's a, there, there's a, there's a way that if I could play a card and I don't have a card to play, I can take some point tokens. But, um, I don't exactly know the rule because I don't think I've really ever played with those, but they can be really good because they can give you some, some big points because I don't know the solo rules. I don't think there are special solo rules for that, but, um, again, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure because I haven't read if there's additional solo rules for the expansion box. So I'm not even going to go there. So what am I going to do? I need to collect some red items. So getting some animals. I could go here and this says get two sheep or uh, a pig, get two uh, sheep or two pigs. And that's gonna cost me three guys. And then I draw a card, which cards are really good. They can be really powerful. You can get some really cool abilities. So I don't know what to do. I definitely wanna get some red, which is food. And um, I could try going hunting. Um, so if I go hunting, I want to roll, I would roll this D8 and I want to get as low as possible and you get up to two rerolls. So good luck. <laughs> I could try and get some, uh, resources, which they're a little bit out of shot, but, uh, there's these forest tiles, which have like wood and stone and, and ore and money. Every dollar is worth one point at the end. So the more money I can claim, the better off that I am. Um, So I think, see, getting money is really good. If I can go, like, collect some money, um, it's good to have money because then you can straight up buy some boats. Um, boats are really good for exploring. I definitely want to explore. I think last game I played of this, I had, like, five exploration lands. Like, I only have six in play right now. Sometimes I play with all of them. Sometimes I play with fewer. This time I'm just playing with six, and I have a bunch of expansions, so... I have like maybe six of them out of play or something. I don't know. There's a bunch that are not in play. I just randomly took like six of them because I'm like, I won't be able to really even reach over there. I'm going to have to like get up. Um, so actually doing, so if I had a horse, that would be really good. So if I could get a horse, these turn uh, animals into food and hides. Uh, I need to figure out what the best way of getting food is. Right now, I'm not really seeing a good way. This space costs two money and um, some peas in order to get two sheep. But that would be good because the sheep will make babies and it could be good later because they're kind of big tiles. They're two by fours. So um, that's fairly good, but I need $2. So I'm, I'm actually gonna go here with two guys and that will get me $2. Okay, and it also gets me a flax and a mead, which I already have a mead, but you know what? More is better. I now have four guys left over. I could go here because now I have two dollars to spend and I have peas and I could get those two sheep. I could start my sheep production right away, which would be pretty good. I also start the game with this armory, which I might want to try and look at. Uh, so... If I can surround the mead, I will get an income of, I'm sorry, if I could surround the ore, I can uh, get an income of ore. I could also get um, an income of a sword. That's fairly good. That's fairly good. Go to the kitchen. What's in the kitchen? Go to the kitchen. Oh, because I needed food. <laughs> 
I got you. I did need. I do need food. If I choose this other side, I could try and get a cow, but I don't know if I want to spend a cow just to put it right there. But I could potentially be getting an income of milk, which would be good. Hydrate. I did. I forgot to get a drink. Michael, do you want to get me a drink while you're at it? <laughs> Go in the kitchen. Uh, I forgot. I meant to get a drink before I started the stream. Um. <laughs> He's like, no. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay, so I need. I could try this. Let's let's try this. It's gonna it's gonna cost me three guys. I spend my two dollars, my hard earned two dollars. No. Get. I spend my peas, and I can get two sheep or two pig. So let's go with the sheep because they're a little bit bigger. They can just go out there. Um, I also get to draw a card. Yay, I shuffled those at the beginning of the game. This is what I got. So this says, Wanderer. During the no harvest phase, I get two resources from the forest area. Wow, I need to get that in play ASAP because who knows when there's going to be no forest, no harvest. Uh, that could be like the next three rounds. I don't know. It could just, who knows? Who knows? Um, Michael's getting me a drink. He's so nice. He's so nice. He just doesn't want to work. <laughs> um, okay, so. I need to get a coal. I have one guy left, so I need to get a coal. Oh, but if I get this. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mention, but these these special things that we start the game with, uh, this armory, for example, I need to actually build it. It is considered a small house, so I would have to go up here and take a small house action, spending one wood to build my small house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I get to hydrate now because Michael asked me to. I'll use one of my special, all the meeples of the rainbow coasters. <laughs> all right. All right, so I need to get that in play, like, right now, this card. But I only have one worker. What to do? I need to put a card into play. Now, if I go all the way at the bottom, I can spend a rock or an ore in order to uh, play a card. But that seems kind of lame. So I don't think I can get this card in play right now. Because I don't have two workers and um, nothing really, nothing else really. I could try going to catch some fish, which would be good. Hmm. I really wanted an ore. Because I, I could start collecting income from my board if I start placing on there. Hmm, 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 hmm. I could just take some wood, which is always good. If I go here, I get two from one um, forest tile. Um, if I spend two, I could try raiding, but that's not like, I don't, oh, I don't have a boat. I need a boat in order to do that. So I shouldn't even go looking down there. Um, I do have... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take some wood because I think I need it. I need it. I'll just put it up here. Um, so I could put my blue token down here to get my, myself one income, which is probably a good idea because money can also be used to be, to fill in spaces. So right now, since I covered up that hand, I get $1 income, but I'm the first player. I get an income. I get an income of $1. How about that? See how that works? All right, cool. Um, hey, animals make babies. So they don't actually make babies. They become pregnant. 
So this, this sheepy, because there's two of them, one of them flips over and is pregnant. Next round, that sheep will turn into a baby sheep. Meaning I'll get one more sheep and add it to my board. Now, so you can't have multiple... If I had four sheep, I can't have two pregnant uh, sheep. I have, One of them would turn pregnant. The next round, I would make one baby. So... Gotta flip over to become pregnant. Yeah, he is flipped. I know it looks the same, but they're a little bit different. This one is flipped. He's sleeping. He's kind of like laying down. This one's kind of like looking over. They're a little bit different. Um, so, that's not what you thought. Okay. Or something like that. Yeah. As long as one of them is flipped over. So it flipped over. It's now worth three points if I do nothing else. But it will flip back over and get a new baby. And then, and so that will be the next round. Um, okay. So, let's see. Now we feast. So I need to spend, um, these are all a little bit, a little bit out of whack. I need to spend six worth of food right here. So this is a four and this is a two. Now feasting is kind of funny because if you were to use the same kind of food, the, the Vikings don't like that. So if I had to use two mead, for example, they would have to both go like this. Uh, fortunately, I do not have to um, do that where they're pair or they're um, vertical. So I just need to do two like this. Uh, so that's enough. That is six food. This goes away. Alrighty. Um, okay. And then I would collect any bonuses I have from my player board, which I haven't s completely surrounded anything yet. So, uh, this was a kind of a, a rough first round. We'll see. We'll see. Joke. Phew. <laughs> oh, oh, Michael! I can I can hear the womp 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 from here. <laughs> womp 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 womp. All right, and then then we do upkeep for the for the forest. I remove one uh, from each of the forest air the forest tiles, and um. A new forest is then revealed. Okay, so I'll put that out. So now I have three forests in play. Um, I better start collecting some stuff is what I'm saying. I like the forest because they, they have like a bunch of like different things. So there's wood, there's rocks, there's um, ore, and there is money. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and so I've got good opportunities here. Normally you take back your workers, but in this case I do not take back my workers because it is a solo game and I, I now I'm playing with the yellow team. So now I get these two added to my supply and um, I'm playing with yellow. These So my red guys just stay on the board. Oh. This, so this is not Princess Bride. I probably forgot to hit the update. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to go back and change it. Unless Michael has uh, the manager on his side that he can do. Which I think I gave him access to. Um, I I tried to hit update right now. But I don't think it's good enough. I, I wrote it out. I just forgot to hit the update button. Okay, it just changed. Excellent. Woo! <laughs> I love when things work. Yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, this is a Feast for Odin. One of my favorites. One of my very, very favorites. I'm heading into round two with a Feast for Odin. You can kind of see the box there. It's a little off screen, but it's there. It's there. Um, okay, cool. So 
because it's a solo game, all the red dudes stay in their spots and I have to go from there. What am I trying to do? I need to explore better. Um, oh, I have to do a harvest. Let's see what it is. This comes up. Oh, it's a no harvest. Womp, 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 womp. Well, that's not good. I didn't get my card into play. So instead of collecting a one blue, a one by one blue, I get a one by one red, which is a little egg. Sad trombone, sad trombone. All right, so here's my little one by one egg. They work like any other tile. I could upgrade it if I wanted to, but that seems kind of silly, right? <laughs> it's just a little, it's just a little tiny one by one, but hey, it will fill somebody's mouth, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so that's what that was. No harvest. Um, I flip over anything, which is, I would flip over the A, which is Shetland down there, but I'm not, uh, I'm not there yet, so that'd be next round. I draw one from a, the weapon deck. Hopefully it's a sword. Oh yeah, it's a sword. It's a sword. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we take actions. So... Um, I need a boat. That means I need money to buy a boat. Or I could use some wood to buy the boat. But what islands do I want? Let's see what's out there for the B islands. So we got Island of Mull. So this is actually a new board, so many people might not have seen this one. Um, it actually gives you um, an income of a little blue and a little red. And a one time, like... Um, what are they called? The items or the gray tiles. So that board is actually really pretty cool. Now, if it flips over, um, it's a, it's a one by one green or some extra sword cards, lots of cool things happening over here now, but you have to note this, this side needs any boat with a one dude. Actually, that's looking really, 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 really good. That's looking really good. What else do we have? Okay. Um, Got some stuff. Mm, I don't like that as much. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if you see, there's 15 point. There's 15 points on this, um, and there's 26 negative ones. So if I don't complete it, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, and the last board is. Oh, I can get a sheep and a milk income if I get this board. Okay, so this. 10 points and minus 16. So it's more of a risk taking these uh, island boards, but if you can cover up most of it and possibly get income, it's totally worth it. Um, oh, I love, I love getting ore income. So that's not bad. Baffin Island, but geez, there's negative 34 points on there and it's only worth 10 points. So I really, if I get that, it's gotta be like, soon so I can start like filling in some negative points over there but I'm really looking at that new board called Isle of Mull because that's really cool oh let's see if I can neutralize that <laughs> the, oh the problems of overhead <laughs> uh, but hey it works so that's good what else okay so there's four really good things on this forest island but um to do that, it would cost me four guys, but then I get to play a card, which actually is not so bad, and I would get to increase two of my tiles. So maybe I want to get a couple really good tiles. Actually, I do have a sheep that I could upgrade at the moment. I just need another good tile. So maybe I can go and um, spear a whale, or but will I get lucky is the question. So if I want to allocate four of my guys that space in a minute, what should I do right now to get the best tiles possible that I could possibly upgrade? Hmm. Raiding and pillaging could be good. I could get some cool things, but that's not really the tiles that I want. This tile would be pretty good. So this space says I get four from the forest and I upgrade two tiles two positions. So if I have red tiles, they will actually go to a blue and blue is the best color to have in this game. Uh, I could go here. I do have sheep. That's actually a really, I'm, I don't know if I've ever gone to this base because I don't usually have sheep, but I like trying new things. So by going here, I get um, some potatoes. 
which is this nice big tile. Like, that's really big. Like, even you can see that tile because it's so big. And uh, because I have two sheep at the moment, I actually get two wool. Well, how about that? That's, like, fairly good. That's, like, I usually don't have sheep. This is a whole new, this is a whole new strategy. That's why I love this game. There's so much to do. There's so much to consider. It's so great. It's so great. Okay, so I did that. I actually get to draw a card, which this is what I drew. So that says, whale uh, catcher. Um, when I successfully go whale catching, um, I just use exactly one spear. Oh, if I, if I go whale catching using one spear, then I gain a spear from the, the, from the uh, weapon deck. That's not as good, but it is worth three points, so it's better than nothing. Um, you know, but now I now I have four guys. I'm going to go to the forest space that will upgrade two tiles to each. I get an ore. I get, I mean, I get a rock, and I get two ore, and I get two dollars. That's awesome. And I'm going to play this card. I'll put it out here. So if there is no harvest... I will get two resources from um, the forest tile of my choice. That's really good. I wish I had it last time. Should have planned better. Should have planned. Should have planned. And then I get to upgrade two tiles twice. So I have this uh, ugly looking sheep that I'm going to make into a lovely, lovely, lovely pair of jewelry. And I'm going to upgrade these ugly pairs into this uh, cloak right here. That's fairly good. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, okay. So those are all my actions. Oh, I get to play one of my cards. That's a card I played. Great. Um, and this is really interesting. Okay. Um, I I this is I just kind of go for it. I don't I don't really I didn't really plan any of this out. So this is just all kind of happening. So now uh, I get income. I could put out more tiles to try and get other income, but I'm not loving my tiles. Uh, I wanted to go on an exploration this round, but uh, that will have to happen next round. And um, I'm going to save all my stuff. I get $1 income because that's that blue one's just making me money now. And uh, then I'm going to... Uh, pop out a baby so this becomes not pregnant and she had a baby very good now I have two sheep again which is great because at the end of the next round it'll make another baby how about that and then I feed my people which I didn't even think about at all so this is what this is what I get for not thinking about my people should have done that should have done that <laughs> uh, so I need uh, seven worth of food that's three, that's two, and that's two. All right, two, two oranges and a red. Yikes. But it did the trick, it did the trick. I can always pay off my Vikings and be like, hey, go get your own food. <laughs> I just pay them to leave. And so now I take back, oh, I get any bonuses, which I don't have any bonuses. I clear the forest area and put out a new forest tile. All right, I got three forests and two rocks and a um, ore and $2 on that. Love when they have money, makes me happy. Okay, so now what? Okay, now I take back my workers, which are the red workers. It is red's turn, meaning me. <laughs> and let's reveal the next harvest. Oh, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is a one to three harvest. Thankfully, because I really was in need of some food. I didn't know what I was going to do but if it was a non-harvest. But it would have been fine. It would have been fine. All right. Get some cabbage now. All right. That's awesome. That's really good. That's really good. Only because I put that card into play. If, if I didn't put that card into play, that wouldn't have happened. Okay. So now we actually turn over A. That means I have to get up. <laughs> I have to get up for this one. Okay, 
Where is A? So it's way down here. Okay, so A is flipping. That means every other tile in play gets bucked up. And every what that means is they get $2 each to make them a little bit more juicy. We like that. All right, so. But I need, I need, I got things to do. I got things to do. I got people to see. Vikings, you know, to kill or something. I don't know. <laughs> Vikings that need to go on some raids, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I have swords. I want boats. I'm, I'm like, I got some money, so I need to spend some of this money. But I need one more dollar. All right, so I did that. I get a weapon card. Oh my god, it's a sword. That's amazing. That's awesome. I shuffled this, I swear. Um, okay, so... I want to keep that egg. Oh, I'm supposed to get, I'm supposed to get a blue token because it was a full, it was a harvest, so I get another one by one blue token. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, I want, okay, I want to do that. I have a stone burning a hole in my pocket. I need boats, but I don't want, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here, spend a stone. And that actually gets me a dollar and a little one by two blue, which is over here. Okay, now I have five dollars. And five dollars means I can, I'm just going to put it over there, I can buy this little NAR ship right there. And now I have that ship. That means I can now go sailing. Which I like. I like that. I just needed a dollar to do that. And I want to go to the island of Mull. Cool. Extra content. Yeah. Thanks, Derek. Hopefully you're feeling better. I am going to go there. I'm going to go there. And I'm going to get the island of Mull. I just need one, one dude. And, um... Any ship will do. Any ship will do. Any ship will do. Well, if you know Donny Osmond and and such, he did. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my little island. This is my island. This is my island. These are not my islands. Put those down there. So I have this one now. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Okay. Um, what am I gonna do now? That was really good. I'm feeling really good. I do need more food. Oh, but, yeah, no. I don't get my income of food until after the feast happens. So I really need to figure out how to get food the feast going. I do want to go raiding as well. Um, but raiding needs a long ship. So I'm, I'm going to need to figure out how to get a long ship. I do have some wood, so I could go here. I would draw a card though. I could put, mm, I could get the armory or the cow shed, but I don't think I want that right now. Maybe in a little bit. I do I have one spear. I could try. Oh, but I could, I could, hmm, I need one more dollar again. I'm always like a dollar short and a day late or something, you know what I mean? I have one, two different red types, so I don't want to play my yellow card yet, which gets me extra money. Hey, it's Steph. It is Steph. Woo! Woo! I don't need, how, you, you actually were talking about Donnie Marie earlier. I, I mean, Matt, I don't understand. <laughs> like, they don't come up in conversation very often. But, uh, Joseph and the Amazing Color Dream Coat is what I was referring to when I was singing. Any, any dream will do. 
Okay, so I do have a cow. I could turn it into food. I could go back here. I don't have... Oh, I do have that. That's actually, like, an interesting space. I could start making pig babies. I don't know. Because pig, pig babies are really good. Because they're, like, a weird shape that fit in weird spaces. So having that is not bad. But I it's three guys. It's three guys. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. I do have this. This seems much better. Actually. Oh. Oh, this is like so good. That is so good. Um, two wood, one stone, one ore, and I would get an upgraded blue pig, basically. Uh, a one by two blue and a two by two blue and a dollar. Da! I definitely want to save one guy to go here. That's my plan. I'm going to save a guy and go there. I just have to remember it. I want to get a baby ship. Okay, I'm going to go get a baby ship. It cost me one wood. And I get this little whale boat. And so now when I go, and I'm going to try go whaling. I need three guys to do this. This is like, I could spend wood and spears. And, uh... We'll see. We'll see. I will put an oar on my whaling boat. Do I really want to do that, though? I could put a... I could, but it's like... it's like. So I have to roll this D12, right? And I want to get it as low as possible. And I can mitigate that with some wood or some spears. I had, literally have one spear right now, so it's like not great. But I do have one oar that comes on the whaling boat. So if I roll a 2, I'll be good. And if I fail, guess what? I get two of my guys back, I get a spear, and I get a wood. So I'm really only risking one dude by doing this. And I get to draw a card. And having more cards is great. So this is the card I drew. Received in your supply. I get that. So every time I were to gain a 1x3 blue, I would also get a 1x2 green. Wow, that's not bad. Oh, but I didn't put the whale catching card into play. I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. Okay. Good luck to me. What did I get? I rolled a 12. Uh, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> okay. I got an 8. Well, it's not looking good. Oh my god, it's a 2. Oh my god. I'm like, I got 12 and an 8, it's gonna be another 12. Hey, I can actually do that because I have one ore on my boat and I have one spear. I will spend my spear, please and thank you. Uh, and uh, then I'm good. I did it. I actually did it. Wow. I am shocked. <laughs> so what do I get for that, you say? I get a 1 by 2 green. I get a one, uh, two by three green. Where are you? So they're whale bones or something. And I get the blubber, which is a three by three red tile. Well, la di da. Look at that. That's amazing. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing that well, so let me just say that. <laughs> um, I don't have any cows, so that's like a useless spot. I don't want to kill my sheep right now. I mean, if I'm feeling lucky, I could try and go hunting. I'm really nervous about not having, like, these here. I could try and upgrade. I could grab a stone from here, and I can upgrade one of my oranges to be red, so I'm okay for feeding. But I wanted to go... Eh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to spend my blubber for food. That would just be a waste. And I also don't want to spend my egg because it's cute. Sure. I will take a stone. And I get to upgrade this thing to a red. That's probably not the best use of my time. However, I'm going to go over here and spend one of my... 
I call it Pete, but what is it? Or, I guess, or, uh, and get a, a sword value of nine or less with the little, like, take the whole dial. I'll take it and show it. So I get something that's nine or less from this board of goodies. So many good things. What am I going to take? So I have a lot of cool and interesting shapes on my board over there. And I definitely, definitely need to start getting some cool income. Oh gosh, this is so hard. It's so hard. Um, oh, ooh, yeah, let's do this one. That seems like a really good shape. I'll show you. This is the one I'm going with. This little, like, scythe thing. And you know what? I'm going to put it, like, right about the. And uh, I'll put that down the. Put this right the. Huh. What to do? Oh, I need to get that T. There's a T over there, I think I saw. Oh, yeah. It fits perfectly. Oh, I got plans. Oh, I can't go there next turn. Oh, I got to figure out how to get that. Oh, man. It would be perfect. By the end of the game. By the end of the game. For sure. Okay, so I'm going to change in my two one monies so I can do that. Which gets me this cool little token thingy. So by me, by me doing this, I get this awesome looking monument thing and I get to use that also and I get an income now of a stone which is great and so mm, right here so this is this is the, the all the steps I'm doing before the income phase I'm trying to get the most money possible and to do that Actually, I can. I don't need the T, even though that would be fantastic. I don't need it um, to get an extra dollar. I can just do that. Where else? Where else? Where else? I could do this. Actually, this is fairly good. I'll drop that down there. I can use um, ore on boards if I want to, but I need. I should save my money right now but i yeah i could get a, a wood income so you know what? i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and just like that my whole board is almost filled up because i'm like i'm focused on it focused let's see if i can get a close-up of it it's beautiful it's beautiful so i could try and get this meat but uh i don't really have the right tokens. They need to be smaller, but I can get uh, the wood, and I'm gonna get that that peat and the little blue one, the little red one, and um, I got that. So fairly good. I'm gonna drop this thing. I already know it. Ah. All right, that was really cool. That was really cool. Okay. So, where are we? Make a sheep babies. Okay, sheep is preggers. Now I have to figure out how to feed. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, this isn't so bad. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, that works. That's three different types of food. I got a fish, I got some flax, I got some peas. No problem. Oh, got it. No problem. All right. I get some bonuses. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I get some bonuses. I get peat. I get wood. I get stone. I get an egg. Hmm. 
And I get a blue little totem thingy. Majiggy. I love those. I love those little little tokens. They really, really help. They really help. They really help. All right, so now uh, I do the upkeep for the forest. Well, I have a lot of forests going on over here. You can't see them, but... Oh, I got the extra, extra large and in charge forest. It's, it's one space bigger. It means it's better, right? It's got a lot of extra peat on there. Got some rocks, got some wood. Alrighty. Gotta clear some of the stuff off. Okay. Alright. We are in round four of seven. I got my, my yellows workers back. Let's check out the new harvest. Oh! Oh ho ho! It is a one through four harvest! What? That's amazing! It's only because I put that card into play. If I put if I didn't put this card into play, I would have a no harvest, no harvest, no harvest, no harvest, no harvest, no harvest. That's how it goes, right? And so I get a whole bunch of stuff. So much stuff. All the stuff. To get some peas. I got I got some uh, flax. It's a one through four harvest. That's about as good as you get. There's not going to be anything better. Got a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Um, oh, and I get the little one by one blue relic token thingy. Because of my little special uh, disc there. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. So. Oh, I gotta flip over the bees and everything else gets bucked up. It's a bucket up. I need another two money. No. No. Okay. Hydrate. Hydrate. Thanks, Derek. I was thinking about it. Thanks, Michael, for bringing that to me. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's see. Oh, I can't believe I did that whaling just like that. Boop. I get a I get a weapon, which is a snare. Okay. Well, that means maybe I should go. Um, you know, hunting. Hunting. I shall go. Now it's I. What am I doing? Okay, so I have all these boats, right? I need to start making this cheaper. I want to get these boats and uh, ship them. I want to ship people away, make them deal with it. Um, all right, so we're in round four. If I wanted to uh, flip over a boat at this time, it would cost me $4. That's really high. That's a high cost. Number one, you are number one. Oh, I have all these things. I like things. Um, two stone and two wood will allow me to buy a long house or a medium house and a long ship. I like that. I do like that. And I would get to play a card. Do How many different types of meat do I have? Let's see if I can flip over some stuff first. If I flip over... A bunch of orange things and then I can have a bunch of different oh this is so good okay so if I do one two three four five that would be really good can I flip over five things I can flip over four things oh boy Oh, that is what I definitely want to do. So I got pl I got a plan. Okay, so I'm gonna flip over three things to be red. Uh, I'm gonna flip over lettuce and flax and peas. I have a lot of red, 
And then I'm going to go into the space next to it for three guys, which flips over two more. But I get three things from the forest, which is a rock, an ore, and two dollars, which money is great. And I get a card. Ta-da! And this card says, played at least one occupation. Every time I play an occupation, I get to uh, get some peas. Whether or not it includes itself, I don't know. All right, so now, now what? Now, I get to flip over two more things. I need to play a card. Hmm. Oh, this one gets me any two animals. Wow, that's fairly good. I don't want to spend all of my stuff. Okay, if I go here, it costs three dudes, and I could uh, play one to four cards, which is actually really great. And I would get a card. And I would get some money. Oh, boy. Could just, well, it's round four. I need, I need a dollar. I need a dollar. I want to play a card. Sure. I'm going to do it the, the harder way and go down here and I will spend one rock to play one card. I'm going to play this meat inspector. I get $1 for each unique red token that I have. It's not worth any points. However, it's going to get me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Count them, eight dollars. Ooh, it's so much money. I'm rich. Feeling rich. Um, and I actually get a dollar for going to the space. So that's like even better. Even better. I... I feel silly if I were to, um, I don't have enough guys to do everything I want. So if I spend, if I go there, I can uh, find another island, which would be awesome. I haven't looked at what I want, but. Obviously, I want something. Is lay. I need another island. I am addicted to getting more islands. That's what I do in this game. Is I get all the islands and worry about my board later. <laughs> I worry about all those negative ones on my board later. So I think. Ah, oh, you sneak up on them. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I want to do that action. I want to do that action. There's so much I want to do. I should just do this while I can. Pay $4 and upgrade my boat to become... So it makes it easier for me to do that. And what was the last thing I wanted to do? Who remembers? Sell my whaling boat to get one more thing up here. Or... I could go explore an island, or... What was I gonna do? Oh, this seems really good. This seems like the best plan I should do. I am going to sell my whaling boat and a dollar. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn it into a long ship. So then I can be all ready for next round. Instead of paying $8 for a long ship, I'll be all set with my long ship ready to go raid and pillage and everything I want to do. I'm addicted to islands. This is true. This is so true. Um, here I thought I was going to build the armory wicked early. Yeah, I didn't do that. Plans, plans, plans. Plans go so uh, astray. Okay, so now, now what? I have no more guys. I get income. Oh, I don't even think I got my income last turn. I got one dollar. I was supposed to get three extra dollars. So I'm going to take all of my extra money this time. So 
I should get seven. I did not get my income last time. I only got one dollar for income. I totally forgot that I get income from that space, too. As well, I should say. As well. Nobody reminded me. Thought you were all on my side. <laughs> all right. All right, so. That was the income. I could possibly get more income if I wanted to. Do I want to? Hmm. I do have a lot of extra stuff going on over here. So, sure. I'm going to fill in some empty spaces with some extra stuff. Basically, just filling in this board. And then I actually get one extra dollar for the income because that's what that does. I'm not going to worry about over here. I'm going to just have to deal with that later. That's kind of what I do in this game. I'm like, screw the main board. Deal with it later. Okay, so now where are we? Oh, hey, I get a pregnant... I get... Oh, my pregnant sheep has a baby sheep. Oh, my goodness. He's so cute. We'll name him Fluffers. Okay, who am I kidding? It would be named Pumpkin. Always. Always and forever. Uh, okay, now I have to feed these people. I need a total of seven worth of food, which is fairly easy at this point because... Um, I, it's no problem. I got tons of food now. I had a full harvest last time. So I use flax and I use a fish and everybody's happy and fed. Then I get bonuses. Bonuses, bonuses. I get a stone. I get a wood. I get a peat. I get a... I get a little egg. I get a relic thingy. Um, I now get some slab of meat. It's a one by four red. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all from this board. I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bonuses on that one board. That's why it's only worth nine points and negative 24 points if I don't fill it in. But it's so good. There's so much income on that board that it's just like amazing. And uh, yeah, so that's really good. That's really, really good. I got all these stuff. Uh, I got nothing from my main board because who needs that? Who needs that stuff? Um, actually, I could put these over here. I need to make room for another board that's going to go, like, here. Um, okay, so I got to do upkeep of these forest tiles. All right, one goes away because I cleared it off. Slide those up. All right, so we got two wood, stone, two ore, and... Four dollars. Two and two. Well, that's fairly good. And I have red dudes coming out next, so I get all my red guys back. All right. Now the party's starting. Let's go pillage. I've got... Oh, we're not there yet. I got my guys. Oh, let's see about harvest. This round. What's happening this round? It is. Uh, no harvest. But because of that, because of that, I have a card that helps me with that. If it's a no harvest, I get two uh, from these forests. So I'm going to take a wood and a stone. How about that? That seems really good. And then I also get a one, a one by one egg token because of my income token thingy and then oh did i didn't i already flip these around did i flip the c oh i flip it now flip it flip it good oh so that d has six bucks on it like that's really good that's really good 
Oh, cork. Oh, that's such a hard, hard board to deal with, but it's worth 30 points. 30 points. Are you kidding me? It's 30 points. It might be worth doing just because it's 30 points, but it's minus 39 points. Dang, but it gives me a ship if I can do that. I think I'm really set up to do cork. Let's, I'll show you what it looks like because I'm really considering it. Um, it's like 39 points is risky. No, it's fine. I still have three rounds, Derek. Uh, it's totally doable. But the question is, do I do it now or should I wait till it gets like buffed up and I get two bucks extra next round? But I could possibly get an income of a boat. What boat is it? Is it a whale boat? It doesn't matter what boat it is. It's what I want. Um, it is a whale boat. But still, an income of a boat or an income of a house. It's like crazy. And I have a lot of sheep to kill. So the sheep will fit in perfectly right here. You know what I mean? Perfectly. The sheep got gotta die oh man I'm really thinking about this it's really good it's really good it's not risky what it what oh man that's so good it's a good question it's a good question okay so now what's the game plan I gotta go raid pillage and raid and things I have lots of money I could buy a nar oh but oh now I'm in that space I want to upgrade my boats this is awful I'm, I'm horrible like I I want oh I was bored okay I I want to go to these spaces I thought yellow would show up maybe I should pick the blue workers uh, but yeah Oh, man. This is so hard. I think I'd be doing myself a disservice if I didn't go there and take the one ore and two money that is just sitting there waiting to be taken. Because obviously... Show the way this is one of your faves. How do I show that it's one of my faves? Am I playing it? Is that a count? <laughs> it is one of my favorites. It's number four. Number four! And I've played over, like, 3,200 games at this point. It's just, like, ridiculous. I just... This is, by far, one of the best games that I, ever. All right. I do want that board, I think. I do want the board. But I could, like, get that later. It takes three guys if I want to get that. Um, so that's not great. That is just not great. Okay. I have tons of money. I should be buying boats and stuff. I do have some ore, so I think I will use the ore to put on my boat. I am going to go pillage, pillage. I'm going to roll this blue d12. Oh, blue d12. And I want high numbers, as high as I can get. My boat has two ore on it. It is a six. That's not very great. I'm going to try rolling that again. That's a 12. That's a 12. That's a 12. Okay. <laughs> and so that's really a 14. I could spend some swords to increase that, which obviously I totally want to do. I could spend some stone to increase it even further. Oh my goodness. Where is that crown? Hand it to me. Juicy crown. Yes, this is the crown. Look at it. And it's mine. Ha ha ha. It's all mine. Taking the crown. It costs 16 swords. I have 12. I have 14. I need two either stone or swords. I will spend one. I'll spend two swords. I'll, 
I'll spend the swords because that's what the swords are used for. That was so good. That was so good. That was so good. That was really good. Let's do that again. That was so much fun. <laughs> oh, I need that. I need that board over there now. I got. I just got the crown. I just got the crown. Not that that board is good for the crown at all. It's not. So maybe that's not the best plan. But the crown will probably end up just going on my main board at the end of the game. So I'll worry about that later. Hmm. I need some like long skinny blues. Long and skinny blues, which like are really hard to get unless you upgrade stuff. Um, so I'm gonna need to go and spend three guys. I'm just gonna go get that island. I'm gonna do it. Taking chances, trying new things. Uh, I'm taking my ship, going out, uh, exploring the world. I'm gonna find Quark. And uh, because I'm spending three guys on that space, I get a card. Let's take a look at this card. It says, after a Viking action providing at least one stone, you also receive one dollar. It's worth two points at the end of the game. Wow, I got all these cards that are worth points at the end of the game. I should get them played. I'm going to go find that cork because taking risks. Um, can I put that there? Okay, so this is now my cork board. Ha! <laughs> All right, I need to upgrade some stuff. I need, I have a lot of money. I could just spend money to get an income of a whale boat. It could work, it could work. Like, I'm thinking like this. It's not so bad, but I do want some long blue. Um, I don't know how to get long blue. Like that's like really hard to do. Um, I do have sheep. I have, like, sheep galore. What do I want four things? I have so many resources right now. Like, this is absolutely insane. I need to get some houses to put this stuff into houses. So, with that being said, that's a good idea. Huzzah! I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna spend two wood and two stone and get, I don't know, a gnar? I don't have a gnar at the moment. I'll get a gnar and I'll get... Where are the houses at? Okay, I got all my houses way over here. I have nowhere to put this house, but here it goes. Right there. That's one of my my long houses. It's worth 17 points. It is also has it also has uh negative 15 points on it. So I need to start covering that up, but it'll get me income of lots of different things, and I have so much extra food and everything going on that that is okay. Um it would be helpful to get a couple of those small greens, so I should try and cover things. Um, I also get to play a card. What am I going to play? Um, I think I'll play this one. This says, played at least one occupation. So when I play an occupation going, uh, going forward, I get a piece. Not sure it really helps right now, but it's worth three points, and I'll actually get something. All right, how else am I going to uh, ruin my day here? So, did I even draw a weapon? I don't think I drew a weapon. I'll just throw that over there. I get income, so let's see. How do I want to do this? I don't think I need to really do anything with the income, so I'm just gonna get five bucks and be happy. Five dollar, no holla. $5, no holla. Okay. And then... I, I get... My, my sheep turns pregnant. And then I have to feast. Mm -hmm. Feast your eyes on this. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Fairly good. This is not as good. Okay. I paid one uh, one by four red meat. I paid a mead and I paid some green beans. 
All right, that was my feasting. Now I get some bonuses. So let's see how I can best use the space. I have all this money burning hole in my pocket, so I might as well use it to get some cool income. Um, so I think, uh, I want to try and cover some of this. Do I want the small house? I want, I think I do. I think, I think I want the small house. So if I do that, I can put, I can use money. I got so much money, I might as well get some houses from it. And I definitely want the boat because I would spend $4 to get a boat, but I get it for three turns, so I might as well spend the money now and it's like, an ongoing give and take kind of situation. Oh, I have this little, like, one little relic thing. Cool. Cool. I like it. Do I want anything else? That is the question. It's a good question. No, I just want that for now. I'll see about the other stuff later, if I even care. I might not care. Don't know. Okay, so that's my turn. Uh, now I collect all the cool bonuses. I get a whaling ship. I get a house. And that means I could take my armory now if I think I want that. Which is pretty cool. I get swords income. It's worth six points. Or I can just take the general small house, which is this. And it's worth eight points. Or, you know, I provided I... Put something but since i'm gonna get it every turn i might as well get the armory now let's put it down there try and keep track of stuff um what else okay so that was that board and then i move on to get all my extra bonus goody stuff going on on the next board which is an egg oh my god this is a an easter egg oh it's a blueberry I don't even know what that is. I'm not going to use that one because I, it might be special. I don't know. Okay, so that. See, because there's like this egg. It's like blue. And this is the normal like white egg. That you probably can't really tell. Those are really hard. They're really, 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 really small. But it's decorated like an Easter egg, which is fun. Because it's probably supposed to be an Easter egg. Okay, so I get that. And I get this little one blue. And a one red. And I get a stone. And a wood. And, um... I get this awesome meat. And I get a peat. So I got a whole bunch of resources. It's so good. I have all these eggs. I better use them. Okay. So, now what? Now what? That goes. My forests start clearing off a little bit. I get a new forest. Fill it up. Three wood. Two stone. Nope, three stone. No nope, peat. Two bucks. Oh, this is the last... Okay, so I got my yellow dudes. So now the D flips over. The last time something flips, do I want? Oh, that has that has a. Ooh, it's so good! It's so good. It's Waterford. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, that's really good. It's 31 points minus 40 points. <laughs> I have this problem with my love of getting new islands to explore later. Uh, so it looks really cool. I get that cool boat. It would be a boat for, um, you know, the end of this round. You don't get the, the end of next round, though. So um, it would be for one round, but it would be so good. If I thought I could fill in all the empty spaces. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't even try and fill in anything here. Did I want to try and fill in something there? I think I did. I don't think I can, though. Do I? I would have, maybe. Sure. Sure, I would at least got some peas anyway. Um, it's not the best plan. It, it, it's a situation where red can't be next to red, orange can't be next to orange. Um, but it still works. Uh, oh, I wouldn't have gotten this one. I wouldn't have gotten this tile, so I would have had to use, like, this egg. Just fine. Because I just took the income for it. So, still acceptable. Okay. I would have done that. Um, and I didn't have that board, so I have nothing to, to succeed at over there. Uh, okay, so now I get, I got my guys back. Let's see what the harvest is. Uh, boop -ba -doo. It's a one harvest. Well, that's weak sauce, but it's acceptable, I guess. Better than none, I suppose. And I do get my one blue. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. I flipped over those. I get a, a weapon card with spears. Now the actions. I definitely want to sail a ship away. Let's sail, um, I guess I'll spend eight bucks for a long ship and sail it. It's gonna cost me two guys. I spent my eight bucks. Should have been doing that sooner. Um, do I want another island? Uh, I'll have to wait till next turn because I can't really do that. Oh. Oh, boo. I can't even get that island, even though I want it. I could get a different island. Let's see. That one is worth 16 points, but it has minus 22 on the board. But it comes with $6 on it. So it's really going to be a 22 island, and I get the money right away. And if I fill up anything, then it's actually worth something. And it actually has an income of $1 on it. So, Bear Island isn't, like, terrible. It's it's equal. It's What it's going to cost me is my time and effort to do it, which is one worker, which is not... Oh, it's two workers. It's two workers. Ah. Could do it, though. I could do it. My other option is Wexford, which is 15 points with $4 on it, so it's really 19 points. Uh, but it's gonna, it's negative 26, uh, points on the board itself. That is a little bit more risky. Um, I definitely need to start upgrading stuff. Uh, I have a lot of sheep that I need to go kill. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I really need to start doing that. I could just go here and upgrade four things. That's probably my best play at this time. Let's do it. Four things. I'm going to upgrade two sheep. I'll upgrade this huge food. Um... What else? I think I just want to upgrade this to a meat. I think that's the best thing I can do right now. Okay, and then I also get a card because I played three, three workers. This says, instead of drawing one occupation, you may play one occupation. Oh my god, that's so good. I need to play this. Do I spend time and play all these cards right now? 
That seems fairly good. Wow, that's really good. Uh, and it's worth two points. That pretty much unbelievable. Oh man, we got a pregnant sheep. Got to start getting some. Gotta get some houses, I think. Because I have all this extra food. It's so bad. I need to fill in my board. I need some... I need to go raiding is what I need to do. I need to raid. Raid, raid, raid for days. Raid, raid, raid for days. I don't want to spend four guys to go raiding. Oh, boy. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> he put a little raid emote in there. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I think I just want to go and get a whole bunch of weird looking blue shapes and call it a day. If I, so if I spend three... Mm. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to go there. I get to play all four of these cards, so I have a lot of ongoing abilities. If I go whaling, if I collect a one by a two by three blue, I get something. I can, instead of drawing one occupation card, I can play one, and if, after I get a stone from an action, I will get a dollar. So I have all those cards in play. It's tons of points. It's awesome. I get to draw a card. If I wanted to, I could play a card, but I don't have any cards to play, so I'm just going to draw this card. This said I can trade. I can trade in one of those for those. And this is at any time. If I have these silverwares, I can turn it into these things here, which is fairly good. It's also worth three points, which is excellent. Uh-huh. Now what? No, 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 no. I definitely want this again. I definitely want that. I've got big plans. Big plans, I say. Big plans. Big plans. I could get some milk income. That would be good. Ah. I thought I was getting a little... Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Okay. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I have some money now. It's not a whole lot of money. I want to spend one worker to go and get some cool tools. Um, or I could go steal some cool tools if I really wanted to. But I would only get to roll a d8, but I could use... Any of, like, these. Oh, I can't use the snare, so, but I could use the other weapons that I have. Uh, I have two guys. Two guys? I don't have any cows. Um, could spend a stone to get a one by two blue. That's fairly good. It's fairly good. But I'm going to need all that. I think I'm going to try and raid... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and raid. I'm going to have to, I'm going to raid with the orange die and I can spend swords and I can spend stone, but I cannot use my ore on my sh long ship. It is a three. Womp, womp, womp. Rolling that again. This is a six. Well, six is not bad on a D8. I could do worse. And, uh, do I want to just take it? I can spend a sword, so that's a seven. Eight, nine, ten. I could get up to ten, or I could just take, I uh, spend one one of these to get it to an eight, which I think is what I'm going to do. Um, this frying pan looks really good. One, two, three, four, five. It's only up five. Could go for, 
could go for this mead glass, which is like covers a lot of covers six. That's probably the best thing. It covers six. So let's take that. And for my last guy, I will go here and spend one of my ore and take a something less than uh, nine from the wrench space over there. The frying pan looks really good because it fits in almost perfectly over here if I want to try and collect that, um, the milk. So if I care about it, I might not care about it, which is, you know, a different thing. So I just don't know. Milk could be good for filling in my houses though. It's tricky, tricky. Oh, if I take the tea. If I take this tea, this tea is better because then I could do that. And that is actually better. So let's do that. Let's go right ahead. Fill that in right there. I have no more guys, so I get an income. Let's see, what kind of income am I getting from all of these things here? And do I want to try and get more? I didn't get the board that I wanted to get, uh, so that was sad. I get five dollars. Could try and get more money if I filled in some things in my houses, but I don't think I care. Hmm. It's really tricky. I'm gonna have to feed a lot of people, but. Uh, nope. Mm, like that, maybe. It's like super challenging to do. Huh. give up on the ore, I guess. That would be sad. Spending more to fill this in than it would be worth it. I don't think I need the sword. It would be nice to have the sword, but it would, it's not, I don't think it's worth it for me at this time. I don't think it's worth it. So I'm not gonna just leave it like that. I get five dollars. Five dollar. No holla. Okay, so where am I? My sheep makes a baby sheep. Okay. So, cool. Now we feast. Hmm. I don't want to use this huge. Let's feed them with lots of little eggs. <laughs> no, 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 let's not do that. Let's do this and this. And everybody's fed and happy. Happy go lucky. Can do this over here and get some peas. Okay, so that, my, my people have been fed and I'm trying to fill in my board for extra stuff, which not being really effective at the moment. That's probably not my best use of my time <laughs> because it's, uh, it's be essentially the same as over here. So, all right, I get bonuses. I get bonuses. I get milk. I get a whale ship. That's amazing. And I get, I get a house. I get a baby house. This is 
is in my house that I'm going to take, put right there. That's just one board. I also get peas and green beans. Peas and green beans. Here we go. And I get my very special Isle of Mo, which gives me all the cool things I could ever hope for in a, an island. Uh, it gets me a one by one red and a one by one blue. And what do I get? And do I get? I get a ore, stone, wood, and on store wood. And I get a one by five, four red, which is awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. That's really good. That's really, really good. Um, okay, and I think that's about all she wrote. So I clear off some of the forest. Stone, stone, wood, go away. So I get a new forest. <gasps> this is the last round. Got so much to do. Oh my gosh. So much to do. Okay. Let's see. I get my red people. Oh yeah. Fortunately, I'm taking up all the spaces that I want to be using. <sighs> Dang it, yellow. Why you always got to be in the way? Let's see if it's a harvest. I'm guessing not. It is not. No harvest. It's no harvest this round. So that means I get a one by one red egg. I also get um, two from these special places over here. Huh. Definitely a stone and uh, an ore for sure. Question is, do I want to take it from there or there? Let's go, let's go with that one. That leaves me three really good options for that. So because of that, I'm actually going to take my first action to upgrade two things. Now upgrade two things, one thing, one time each and take three resources. The three resources will be $2, $2 and two ore. That's like really good. And I cleared out that. It was the nice big long strip right there, which is awesome. Oh, and then I ruined it. Ruin it. I'm a ruiner. Where are the eggs from? The eggs are these real, it's really cool mini expansion. It's called, I think, the Harvest Expansion. And it gives you all these little like one by one tokens. So they're, they come in all the colors, red, blue, red and orange and then blue and green. And so I have these these other tokens here that you you there's going to be a draft at the beginning of the game depending on the people and so your position in turn order or something and so you get to choose one of these tokens and they'll give you depending on if it's a harvest or no harvest it will give you something a little bonus. So this is like a if it's a harvest you'll get a one by two peas. I ended up taking the one that gives me, if it's a harvest, I get a one by one blue. And if it's not a harvest, I get a one by one red. And so that, and because it's not a harvest this round, um, I get a one by one red, which is an egg. And uh, so also, I don't know if it's gonna be no harvest or not each round. I'm doing a different harvesting uh, each round, so uh, it's not going to be the normal one, and then one, then two, and then nothing, and then one to three. I'm pulling these tokens, and there might be no harvest, no harvest, no harvest, no harvest. Oh, now we get a harvest. So that's what, so these little round tokens help make up for the no harvest, because uh, you don't know what you're going to get. It's real. It's a really cool expansion. <laughs> Michael's like, chickens? 
Yes. Yes, Michael. Uh, the eggs come from chickens. <laughs> or geese. Okay, so I'm going here. I got, I got my three things. I get to upgrade two different things. I'm going to upgrade this blubber, the blubber, uh, to this lovely coat. And I'll actually upgrade the coat that I already have to be a treasure. Do I care? I don't think I care. You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it as a coat and upgrade this. I'm going to upgrade this sheep to become fur. I think that will be more important for me. Okay. Uh, and then I can draw a card. However, because of my cool ability, I can play a card instead, which is so I'm going to play my tradesman instead. Um, and uh, that's at least three points. And I, it's an ongoing ability. So I get... I could spend silverware. Yeah, what is silverware? Who knows? It's like, I don't know. I got nothing. Um, thanks, Derek, for the bits. I missed the little icon. My apologies. Uh, so, let's see. I'm running out of guys already. I have so much to do. So much to do. I could turn in a whale boat. I could. I think I want to save all of my. Well, so if I. I want to. It's just so hard. So hard. I could turn my sheep in. That would actually kind of be helpful. Turn my sheep in and get a one by two green. Huh. I should get another house. I have all this food. I have all this extra red stuff just hanging out. Uh, so I should get another house. So I will have an extra. I could do both. I could do it both. I could do this. But then I don't have a card to play. So I think I'm just going to spend two workers right now and get a medium house. Do I really want a medium house? I could spend three workers. Oh my goodness. I'm running out of workers. It's like, why wouldn't I just spend four workers? This is so hard. Okay. All right. All right. Medium house. Yeah, I guess I'll do a medium house. It is worth 10 points, so. Well, I mean, it's worth 10 points followed by minus 9 points if I don't fill it in. But I'll probably be able to fill it in. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't know. I, I, I need another island. Maybe I should go explore. Bear Island would be good because it's basically nothing. It takes two guys. Sure. Let's go collect Bear Island. It costs two guys. I get all this money. Six bucks. Now I have Bear Island in the mix. See? No problem. Uh, let's see. I should get another longhouse, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. I should start filling in some stuff and see how I'm looking over here in this neck of the woods. Maybe like this. I never said I was good at this game. I'm actually fairly good at this game, but... That's fine. Nobody needs to know. I should do this. But I'm gonna have all this extra space. And, you know, you fit things in between this and that and this and that. I need some skinny blues, which would be good. I need some small greens. 
which would also be good. Um, oh, no, you got to get the islands. I'm worried about the, the main board at the end of the game. Like, who cares? Like, I don't even care. Like, this is all, like, whatever. I need to, like... I never care about the main board, ever. Um, and pay, perhaps I'll lose a bunch of points for it. That's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, like, if I want to try and save these, that's kind of what I'm looking at. But I think I'm not going to do that quite yet. Oh, I could do this. This is really good. That cost three dudes, though. Three dudes gets me anything over there, which would be really good. Hmm. I really need a one... I need a one by four blue. I mean, a two by four blue. I could upgrade the sheep twice. Um, not the worst thing to do. I could do it, and I could get some upgrades over there, too, which actually would be quite helpful. So if I go here, I get one thing. So I guess I'm going to get a stone. And then I'll upgrade this sheep. This sheep will become green. And then I will spend two to upgrade three things that's going to turn this rat into a necklace and put that, so I can put that right there, boom. And then I'm going to turn this into a green, uh, oh, it's a green, uh, whatever this is. So I could put that, like, there. And then I could turn this milk this milk can turn into this wool, which can go, like, there. So that covers up, like, a good chunk of points on those boards. And uh, I don't have to worry about that so much. I definitely want to make sure I cover up all the negative two spaces. So, like, this one is negative two. And this one is negative two. But I have all this money. I have, like, so much money. So I should spend these four workers to do something important to get lots of points. Uh, I should go pillage. I should go pillage. I need to pillage. And rearrange stuff after the fact. So I'm gonna go there, roll the blue die. It's a 10. I'm gonna keep that 10, and I have two more on my, my boat, so that's a 12. And I can upgrade it with, uh, swords, which I don't have. And I can upgrade it with stone. So let's see, what's out there? Oh, I got the dining room table. I've got, ooh, a chalice. A chalice would be good. I got a sleigh ride. Hmm. I've got Christmas. I've got, huh. Trying to think how this would best lay out on my board. What? I need like long and skinny. That's only nine. It's only a nine, and I could do a whole 12. I could do 12. Ugh. I just don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. It'd be great if you could help me out. <laughs> Uh, table could go there, but I'm like, it's better if I don't. Can't, you can't put these things, like, next to each other. So it's a big pain in the butt. But that's me every game. I always do this. I always worry about my board last and then run into issues, of course. Could get the 12. I do have 12, and you can't split it up. That's the problem. The problem is I can't split it up. 
Uh, I would really like to split it up because there's the, like an eight that I want. I could also just take. Uh, I could also just take. No, 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 no. Oh, this thing is like horribly useless. Like horribly useless. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> that is not a great tile. It's so hard to use that. This one is better. Oh man, what's going on? Got two, I could... this is like a good one. I'll just take this, um... No. See this? Does that actually fit? It's like so close to fitting. That would be like the best. Actually, I could do that. It covers a bunch. Then I'm like totally over. That's only a nine. It's only a nine, but that's like what I need. I need that shape to actually do anything. So. I'll just call it a day with that. And it, it, it got me five points, essentially. So that's fine. It's not, it's probably not my most optimal move, but who said I was good at this game? Nobody. Uh, actually, that's not true. I taught Tom Vassell and Rodney how to play, and I crushed their souls. <laughs> they said I was good at this game. Um, but in the interest of time, I'm going to do that. Uh, so with that being said... I guess I'm done raiding, and uh, I have two guys left. What to do, what to do. I could turn uh, my boat into seven points, so that's a four point thing if I do that, and then I have one less thing to feed, which could be really good. Um, I could, what could I do? I could get two bucks over here and an ore, which could be extra points because it fills in spaces. So that's a three point move. A three and a four point move is seven points. Or I could turn a stone into three points. That's less good, but stones really aren't worth anything at the end of the game anyway. So seems fine. Uh, I have no more sheep to turn in and I could go and do something like that. I could turn a wood into um, or I could get a, a house. Getting a house, I could fill in two of the spaces, so it would be a four-point play. Hey, there you go. Sure, I will get a house. That's a four-point play, because I can put on two of these. And then I wanted to go down here and turn my whale boat into a little sailboat. A whale boat into a sailboat. How cute. Okay, and then I need to feed my people. Really? 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 Got all these st stupid huge peas. I guess that's what I'm doing. Two peas, milk, and a little baby egg. That's what I'm feeding. Oh, I was supposed to get income too, which is five, six bucks. And if I had animals, they might flip over. Okay, so now I need to do the difficult part of placing all my money every which way and filling in the board as best as I, best that I can. Uh, so there's that. There's that, that's all filled. I should just take lots of ones because I'm going to need lots of ones. $2.50. 
two, four, six. Okay, so. Uh, that's $12 in twos. I don't know if this is really the easiest way of doing this, but. Sure, I'm going to do it anyway. so much extra space one one I think I'm gonna be fine with all my negative points I'm filling in literally all the spaces with ease I had a ton of money that means I was not using my money very wisely because I like to spend all of my money, usually. I don't like to have so much leftover money at the end. So not all of the negatives are covered, but a good portion of them are. Let's pull out the score sheet, see how I did. I don't know. I, I feel like I was a little misguided every which way, but. All right, so. Ships, I have an eight and a five and a three. So what, 11, 16? Uh, immigrations up here, I have an 18, seven, 25 plus 21 is 46, uh, yeah, 46? Math is hard. 25, 45, 46. Yeah, 46. Wow. Better than the last time I played solo. Exploration boards. I have a total of 9, 30, and 16. So, um, 40, 55. 55, which is not many. Last time I played solo, I had a 73 in... <laughs> In my score. Okay. For my exploration boards. Sheds and houses. Okay, so this one, I got 8, 8, 16, plus 6 is 22, plus 17 is 27, 37. That's fairly good, 37. Sheep and cattle, I got 0. Occupations. Oh, hey, I got a lot of points in occupations. So, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen is good. Silver, leftover silver, zero. A final income. Oh, I took my final income, so I'm, I'm gonna mark that as nothing. I did have the English crown for two points, and and then my negative points on my home board. I have one, two, three. Minus three on my exploration boards. I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have minus nine. And my sheds and my houses, I have minus one, two, three, four, five, minus five. So I had no thing penalty. I always fed my people. I kept them happy. Kept them happy. And so that's negative 17. And then... My uh, above it, I have a total of 11, 10, uh, uh, I screwed up, so 10, 28, 30, 8, one, I got 170, Minus 17. Sad, but true. Uh, so the total is... Actually, a 170 in the upper part is fairly good. But I had a lot of negative, so for minus 17. So I did get 153 total. Math. I think that's what I got. 153. That, that's fairly high. That's not bad, actually, because my other scores, it looks like 160, 
125. Uh, one, I played with three people in March and I got a winning score of 131. So it seems probably about average. And that's including all of these extra boards, exploration boards. I love the new harvest. So there's a 153. I'm proud, I'm proud. Let's go back to this one screen. Uh, hopefully you liked uh, <laughs> watching me play Feast for Odin. Um, I, I love this game. I love, love, love this game. I love the all the little extra additions and the expansion. All that good stuff. I love it. Um, can I say I love it more? Because I do. <laughs> oh, I even had this. I had an extra ore. All right. I get one more point. <laughs> I got 154. Mm. <laughs> we'll have to look into some of the expansions. Yeah, yeah, you definitely have to. They, they are um, really cool. They add a lot. Even, like, even the little mini, like, extra boards adds, like, some, some new strategies to try. And, and so you can, you know, find new ways to score points. Even, I love getting the exploration boards. So this, this game I had four houses and I had um, three exploration boards, which is going kind of easy on my exploration boards. I usually like to get like a bunch of them, but I did I did balance it out by having houses, so that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, I did get forty six points with the exploration boards, so that was pretty good. Uh, but again, last time I soloed it, I got seventy three points with exploration. <laughs> Uh, but my score, my ending score was 160, so I did do better in my last solo game. Uh, it's fairly good, fairly good. Um, yeah, that was really fun. I really, really love this game. This is one that I always want to play. I like, I don't even mind setting it up. It's a beast to set up, but I, uh, it's one that I will always play. If somebody wants to play, I'll be like, yes, let's play. I'll even teach it, like... And teaching is kind of a pain because there's a lot going on. Uh, so I wouldn't just do, teach anybody because there's, you really have to kind of know Uva Rosenberg games anyway. <laughs> that would be, that would be helpful. But there, or just big Euro games in general, just knowing different like ideas and mechanics that are happening, uh. But yeah, I, I generally don't ever focus on getting my home board filled in until like the last round, the last possible thing, because there's other things to do and you're wasting valuable space by trying to fill in this board. You could be out exploring, you could be out collecting resources, you could be out doing other things. And so I always try and, and like save that for last because I remember my first game where I was I didn't know. Everything was so overwhelming. I had a huge headache at the end of my first game of this because there was just like so much going on. And I just tried to focus on getting my home board. And after that, I watched like a video or I read something where like, yeah, I don't even fill in my home board. I'm like, you just what, take negative 100 points or whatever's on your home board? I don't know. And they're like, yep. I'm like, what? <laughs> And so I, I made it uh, a goal to try and not worry about the home board going forward. And it's like so much easier. It's like easy to relax and just like worry about it later kind of thing. And you can try other opportunities and do different things. Uh, there are these like, especially with the um, Norwegian's expansion, you can go for pigs uh, that, that are really well. I would love the, I love the pig shape. It's like a C. It's like like it's hard to see, but it, it's a C shape and it's really great. Or the horses, which is um, a two by five uh, and they give you a lot of points. So that's a six point horse right there. Um, so there's a lot of cool things. <laughs> it feels wrong not to fill in your, your starting board, especially if other players are getting income. Yeah, but that's why you get exploration boards early and you get income in other ways. So that's that's where you make up for it because I picked up that Isle of Mull and I was benefiting it, benefiting, benefiting from it the entire time. And so it was really, really, really great. Um, I was getting a, a stone, a rock, um, 
a wood, a, a relic, a one by one blue, and a one by one red. So there was a lot I was getting. And then eventually I, I picked up the one by four red, which is always helpful to have the long tiles uh, for feeding. And if you can upgrade them, they, they are, that would have really helped me with my home board because I needed the skinny blue. If I could have upgraded some of those reds to blues, that would have been really helpful. Um, so what a Derek, oh, he gave me a fist bump, fist bump. Um, so it was really good. I, um, really like that. Oh, my forest is over here. This, this whole table is like sprawling. I'm, I'm glad I could get it so that it was actually in the board. I don't know if you could really see what was going on. I tried to get all the light going. I have all this light, but it still kind of looks a little dark. So I need to figure out a better lighting system eventually. But um, this is one that I will always want to play, like I said. And hopefully I can show off Fields of Arl coming up soon because that's like my number two game. And I love Fields of Arl. Um <laughs> yes, this is a very big setup for a solo game, and I have, I'm working from the chair, I'm working, uh, it's just the whole board. I can't even see what's going on over there. <laughs> Usually I try and go raiding a whole lot, but it's really hard managing uh, two sets of workers because generally I like going to the same spot. Like, my favorite spot is the one that turns boats into, um, you know, expedition kind of things, where, where you send your... Uh, or emigration, where you send your ships out and they, they help feed your uh, feast line. But because there's only one space available, really, I mean, there is two spaces, but it's really expensive. Uh, I probably should have gone to the other space more, but it's four guys to go there and, you know, every guy matters. But because that was, the two guys were eating up that space for two whole rounds, it makes it really hard to immigrate as much as I want to. And when you're playing with more people, there's more opportunities to uh, do that action. So usually I have a full immigration line of boats, but not this game because uh, the two, the manipulation of these workers, which I think is actually very well done if you would play solo games, um, the... the it's very interesting uh, how you are blocking yourself for the next round. Uh, I think that's really clever, so. Oh, Michael, you're not even here. You can't tell dad jokes, you're not even here. <laughs> uh, that's a big set of virtual, yep. So that that's basically what I had to show you um, today. I don't know, we do still have 16 viewers, so if anybody has any questions about the expansions or anything, uh, I don't think there's any, like, I think in the expansion there's extra cards. I don't know if we saw any of them. Um, I have a lot of extra boards. I've only, I only, in this game, I only played with six of the many, many boards that I have uh, for the land. I hope they keep coming out with more content for this game because the more the better, right? Right? I mean, for me, yes, but maybe not for you. Mm. Nobody told me to hydrate, but I'm still doing it anyway. <laughs> a new follower. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't see the rainbow. Dang it. I always miss it. And I even pro I, I even made it longer so it would stay on screen longer so I could see it. Um, sometimes more is better. Sometimes it's not. I think in this case, uh, yeah, it gives it more variety. But even still, there's already so much variety anyway that it's not a problem. Uh, so I, 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 again, this is one I'll always play. I kind of dread teaching pe new people, but it's still fine because I, I don't mind because I like playing it so much, but this is so, so good. Yeah. <laughs> but Everdell feels like more is just more. Uh, I have a lot of problems with Everdell. I don't mind Everdell, but I tend to agree with what you're saying. In Everdell, more is more and it's not better. One, because the mix of cards is already quite large. Um, and uh, so if you're trying to find the specific card you need, it makes it much harder to do that. Uh, but also the, uh, the additions are just like, it's just more things to focus on and it gets kind of like lost in translation. Whereas this one, you don't have to add everything. You don't have to, um, 
You know, you can give and take some island boards. It doesn't matter. Uh, I do like the upgraded uh, Norwegian boards that you're actually using to place workers on because that, it gives you, while it gives you more options, it gives you fewer options, but it gives you, it just, it, it changes it in a better way. Uh, so I definitely would say get the Norwegian's expansion for Feast for Odin if, if you like the base game because it just, it adds, but it doesn't really, it doesn't, make it more complex or last longer whereas Everdell the game just auto will automatically last longer and it's already a long game and it's not one that I'm terribly excited about <laughs> but I like it and it's still on my shelf and it'll stay there I have a couple expansions I haven't tried out yet but I you know I will eventually someday when I when it's not Essen crazy crunch time to play all the games um <laughs> uh Yeah, Everdell, more than two players is just so long. It's so long. It's so long. Yeah, I, I don't... I, I, I wouldn't play Everdell with more than two players either at this point. I played it several times with four players and it just, like... It's not a fun experience. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would agree with that. Uh, Kickstarter to play Feast. Yeah, if you would like to play Feast for Odin with me and uh, you want... That would be amazing if you wanted to back my Kickstarter at the $60 level. I will teach you how to play. We could play on Tabletop Simulator. That would be super fun. Um, and, yeah, it's the, on Kickstarter right now. Thanks, Derek, for mentioning it. Um, uh, the Kickstarter runs through Friday, so if you're watching this after the fact, uh, you still have your chance. You can play any game with me. I'm, I'm happy to teach. I know... A billion games and if you want to teach me a game that's cool too I'll, I'll learn an 18xx if you want me to play an 18xx this is your time to twist my arm and make me play a game that I might not otherwise play <laughs> let's see thank you Michael for posting that link to Kickstarter that was helpful Yeah, I haven't played either of the new uh, Everdell expansion, so I wouldn't know. I played the Pearl Brook expansion, and I thought that was okay. Oh, thank you for backing the Kickstarter. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Help Steph break 5,000. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm trying to, like, slowly advertise a little bit each day, and hopefully people will see it and, and catch on. But, um... <laughs> oh, Derek, the emotes are so great. Uh, I need to... I want to make some more emotes, or work with Derek to make some more emotes. Uh, but... Yeah, we should, we could have a Uva, we could have a Uva. <laughs> we could have a Uva moat. You know, because I'm crazy about Uva Rosenberg. And if I play a solo game on here, it's likely going to be a big game like this or a very small game like Calco or Cristalo, which I've played already. Um, oh, Derek has a bunch more to discuss. How mysterious and wonderful. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I have fun on the stream, so I'm glad, you know, you could join, join me tonight and playing A Feast for Odin. I think that's my time, and, you know, I would play something else, but it's gonna take me, like, an hour to clean up this game. <laughs> and I want to go have dinner or something. Oh, look at that. Where did you get that? It's like an octopus thingy. Michael just comes up with the weirdest emotes. That was really cool, though. So, I, I'm super excited. Lots, lots going on. You know, I wanted to take a, a break from all the new games and play one that I absolutely love, and so I chose Feast for Odin, because who doesn't love Feast for Odin? You're wrong. <laughs> Michael, you're supposed to be working. <laughs> have a good night everybody you've been wonderful i don't know if there's anybody to raid if anybody wants to go on a raid let's see let's look let's look 
We got Ruel. Let's let's go. Oh, we oh the panda angel is playing macaron on uh, Tabletopia. Let's go. Let's go do that because that's awesome. Um, panda angel, but angel with an eight instead of an A. So I gotta remember that. Let's go raid her and say we love macaron because we do. And by we I mean Derek and I because we like to support Tate. So let's see. Raid, 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 raid. Uh, what did I say her username was? Dang it. Oh, man. I just had it. It was Angel with an eight. Panda Angel. Panda Angel. Let's try. Let's try. Learning something new every day. Thanks, everybody, for rating. That's fun. You all have a fantastic night. So excited. I'll be back Wednesday with more games. There's always more. 